Hey guys, welcome to my channel and here I have my OnePlus X with me and today in this video I will be flashing a new ROM for this device which is known as the Expo SP ROM which stands for Xperia Open Source Project. So this ROM uh, looks like the ROM on the Xperia devices and also have some of the similar apps but is uh, based on Sandalin Mod 13. So let's get started. In order to flash this ROM you need TWAP recovery installed on your device. So hold the volume down button and the power button for at least 5 seconds in order to boot into TWAP recovery. Once you are in TWRP recovery, make sure to make a backup of your previous ROM since uh, if you run into a boot loop or something wrong happens, you can always restore your previous ROM. So first of all, you need to wipe your data. For that, go into wipe and then advanced wipe and then uh, erase uh, the top 5 that is the Dalvik cache system data internal storage and the cache and just uh, swipe to wipe once you are done wiping everything go back go into the home screen and then go into install now we will be flashing the ROM So these are the three files which we are going to flash. From the top to bottom it is the G apps, the ROM itself and uh, the ROM apps for the ROM that is the Xperia apps. So first we will select the ROM then click on add more zip and then select the Xperia apps and then click on add more zip and then select the G apps. All the links to this file will be given down in the description below. The flashing of this ROM will uh, take some time, so be patient. So we have finally flashed this ROM successfully without any problems. So now let's reboot our device and let's see what this ROM is all about. The initial boot might take some time so be patient and don't panic. This is the boot animation of the new XOSP ROM which is kind of cool in my opinion with the black background. is now optimizing all the apps this will uh, take some time be patient and uh, we have finally flashed and uh, optimized all the apps in this ROM and uh, this will now take us to the setup page I will quickly set this up for you and uh, then we will proceed on
finally booted up and uh, this is the home screen of the ROM. It's nice to see that we are also getting a weather widget and uh, this is the app drawer itself. We can, uh, as you can see, we are getting some Xperia specific apps. And uh, since it is running on Cyanogen mode, we are also getting the theme engine pre-installed. So let's uh, hop into settings and uh, then see, and then go to about phone and let's see what it is based on. So as you can see this is the Xperia open source project, you can see the mod version, the XOPP revision, uh, all the versions build it etc. And as you can see this ROM is running over on Android Marshmallow which is a good thing, we are getting the latest operating system. Now going back and moving into USB and storage. You can see that uh, out of the 11.53 GB, only 712 MB is occupied and I haven't installed any apps yet. So moving up, uh, you can see that we have support for gestures, which is nice. And then moving into memory, you can see that uh, out of that 3 gigs of RAM, only 2.2 uh, gigs is free which is a lot I guess so now moving up you will get themes as always with cyanogen mod roms and here are some additional settings we have a uh, exo sp settings where you can customize uh, almost everything in this rom which is a good thing Going back you also get Viper FX where you can tweak your sound, audio profiles and uh, this app is very nice for all the music lovers out there. And we are also getting XOSP Delta which is an app which helps us to download the ROM and then install it on our device without booting it into recovery. So this is a nice addition. And uh, once the XOSP ROM gets an update, you will always get it here and there is no need for you to flash it through the recovery. So that's all in the settings. In my frank opinion, this ROM has a lot of things to talk about. I am not going in depth in this video. So if you guys want a separate video regarding all the features of this ROM, I can do an in-depth review for you. Let me know in the comment down below. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye bye now.